Oh my god! Oh, oh man. Oh my fucking Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today, we are watching Vikings. Season 3. Episode 4. <sighs> this one is called Scarred. Um, I am super, super excited to watch this episode because we left off with quite a big cliffhanger on the last episode in regards to Bjorn's girlfriend. Kieran Horn, something like that. Um, I'm assuming this episode is going to be about her because if you take it literally, she literally is going to be scarred on her face. Now, if you have not watched the last episode, go ahead and click here, my friends. Give that a watch and then come back and watch this one with me. That's it. I'm just excited to jump in, so let's not waste any time. Grab your coffee, my friends or your tea, if you have tea, your water, you know, you know the drill if you've been here a while. Grab your drinks. Let's get to it. I'm excited. Mm -mm. Also, if you would like to watch these episodes in full with me, no cuts, no editing, in full, it's all there for you. Go and check my Patreon down below, my friends. I would love to have you. We have fun over there. Join the club, pal. Yeah, join the club. If you are watching this on Patreon, thank you so much, my patrons. I really, really appreciate you. Let's do this. Gustav Skarsgård. Those brothers are so talented. The Skarsgårds. Bill, amazing. Alexander, amazing. Gustav, amazing. And I think there's another brother. Maybe another two brothers. Viking! Um, but yeah. So talented. Oh, so pretty. Is that Cat to Cat? Yeah. I don't know. Is he in pain again? I thought he took his pain away. Where's Harbard? I don't know. Why can't you look after your own child? Oh, there he is. I am here. There is no more pain, Ivor. So he has to constantly do no it? I thought it was like a one-time thing. Because kids died. What if he does this one time and like one of her kids... Or dies. Or Helga's kid's kid dies or something. It's not going to be good. You have such power. I wish. All right. There she is. And that's right, Ragnar was so mad. He was pissed at uh, Bjorn. Oh God, I wonder how bad it's gonna be. At least she's alive, but man. Can you imagine the pain that she's going through right now? Eo vinu meira. Helto vinu. So he learned some of their language too? Is a mola compound. Well, he's like, mm, not me. Not me. I can see that you have all drunk from the poison chalice. And the joke, Rolo, is on you. He's so against working with the English. The Christians. Oh, there's frickin' Ragnar with his cut. What are you doing? Is she peeing on him? Uh, how is that making it better? Just or killed him? him. Your wound. <laughs> I'm you covered in piss. Thanks. <laughs> so gross. 
Are they doing what I think they're doing? Where are you going? Out. Where? With whom? It is not your concern. Just look after my children. That's all I ask. No. What are you trying to do? I am trying to save you. You have other responsibilities. Ragnar has left Catty Cat in your care. Let go of your queen. Uh oh. And I will do it. So Siggy's gonna take over being queen while she's off and I was gallivanting with uh, this guy. Later then, nine months after I left the island, she gave birth to a second son called Olaf. 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 <laughs> oh, if you have kids. The husband. It's a long way away. You fear he no longer loves or desires you. Don't tell me they're gonna do what I think they're gonna do. Remove your clothes. Oh, okay. Yep, I think they're gonna do what I think they're gonna do. Ruh-roh. What? Okay. I I was not expecting that. Wait, unless she's dreaming. But this looks pretty real. Is this real? Do you love me? Yes, I love you. Uh-oh. Okay. Guess it was real. This is this is bad. This is bad. It is not his fault. Is it not clear to you, Bjorn, on your side? Who brought the Christ oh, God into our lives? It is not Ethel Stan's fault. Floki, get over yourself. Ah, oh, as if. And he better not hurt Ethel Stan. Floki threatens me with Odin, but I would not be ashamed to meet the god face to face. Hedeby, Hedeby, Scandinavia. Oh, that's her place, huh? I'm assuming. Because there's that guy. Forgive me, Elkalf. At some point, if she still lives. Lagatha will return to yeah. her maid, and she will bring with her most yeah. of her warriors. I have invited someone here to join us. Who's that? Don't tell me it's the priest guy. Not the priest. The dude, the wanderer. Where's her mother? <laughs> you don't mother want to know, her. little children. Someday you will, you will understand what a mother has to sacrifice for her children. Uh oh. Oh no. Where are you going? Oh no, I hope they don't find them. I don't know why I feel frightened. I have to find them. Ivar's getting big. Oh man, I hope they don't find their mom in Harbard or Harbard, whatever his name is. Going at it. They go in the forest. I am chilly. It's actually quite cold here today, surprisingly. Well, cold for cold for us. Oh no, why are they? Why are they on the ice? Oh Blitzer! no. Oh no. Stop! What are they doing? They're gonna fall in. Stop! Oh god. God, do any of Ragnar's kids survive? Besides Bjorn? Oh no, Siggy. Oh no. Shh. I mean, 
I know they're kids, but like, shouldn't they know not to go on the ice growing up there? Oh my god. Are they all going to die? But I guess kids will be kids, right? Oh no. Oh, who's that? Who is that? Is that her daughter? Oh, her daughter. Does this mean she's gonna die though? Man, I don't want Siki to die. I also don't want the boys to die. I was worried about this. Remember, I said, what if her kids end up dying for Ivar? Oh, he's right there. Oh no. She's gonna die to save them. Is this, is that what's happening? I'm not gonna believe it until I actually see her dead. But I'm going to assume she is, but damn. Your wife has missed you beyond really? endurance. Really? <clears throat> I feel like he's gonna kill her brother. And she won't be able to stop this it. This is my young brother, Burgred. He says that the campaign against us was no fault of his. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I feel like this is not gonna go well. Ragnar Lothbrook. How's the settlement? It's working. We've planted the first crop. No, brother. I don't like you. <laughs> oh, that's great. I like you. Oh, man. Are you enjoying yourself? It must be a feast. Yeah, that's bad. You won't want to marry me now, will you? Don't say that. Ethel Stan, you got yourself in quite a pickle. Quite a pickle. The battle for Mercia is won but not yet the settlement. Stay! Perhaps Arthur's soon stay. I'm not sure. I've not discussed it with Ragnar. Mm. Or with Judith. <laughs> They're trying to make you stay. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's something between you and that girl. <laughs> yes. Ragnar doesn't miss much. We are all free to do as we please. Are we still talking about women. <laughs> what is he going to do? They say he will go home with Ragnar. I mean, if he stayed there, what? Please don't leave me. What could they do? She's still married. Oh no. Oh no. The important thing for you is that Wessex will have power in Mercia. I have a bad feeling about about Ekbert. You have helped me in my conquest for Mercia, and I have helped you to establish a settlement in the very heart of my kingdom. You and I. We understand each other. That is why we are allies and will remain so. Are you, though? I don't trust you now. Oh, well, there's Loki. Loki? What are you doing out here? Probably thinking of how to kill Ethelstan. to talk to the gods. They are angry, Roro. And I'm so afraid that we must one day choose between them your brother. Uh-oh. So, once again, 
Athelstan, you have to make a choice. Yeah. I've made up my mind. I will go back with Ragnar. I think that is the wrong decision. Your guests have arrived. Now, who are these guests? I am curious to see. Oh, well I told you. They kept him alive. I believe with all my heart that you and I are natural allies. I knew that. <clears throat> I knew that would come to kick them in the butt. You may recall that Ragnar blood eagled his enemy, Jarl Borg. But he forgot to kill Jarl Borg's wife. And who is not my wife? Hmm, interesting. Before all these people, before King Eckbert of Wessex. I feel like something's going to go bad here. I don't know why I have that feeling, but I do. Let us celebrate our alliance. And drink to victory over my abusers. Is she going to kill her brother? My dear sister, you have saved me. How oh, I've always loved you. I think she's going to poison her brother. Yep. That look that she was giving him, I was like, wait a minute. Okay then. Everybody's just like, uh... To the Queen of Mercy. To the Queen. Aw. Oh, I'm at a coffee house head. But to the Queen! Scud! Oh. <laughs> well, I knew something was going to happen. I didn't know what it was, but... Alright, let's see. If Siggy's actually dead, I think she is, though. Just time for me to be on my way. In the future, I doubt he will suffer such pains as before. Because of Siggy? And your friend Siggy, she's also very happy. She's with her husband, sons, daughter, and Valhalla. So she did die. Who are you? That really sucks. Hmm. Disappeared. Okay. Okay, friends. That was the end of that episode. Really, really good episode. I just want to start with Siggy because I wasn't sure at first. I mean, I was pretty sure that she passed away, but I always want things to be confirmed for me just in case, because there have been times in this show when I was like, oh no, he's dead or she's dead. And turns out they weren't, which yay, depending on who it is. But um, so I guess it is confirmed that Siggy passed in the water. And I'm assuming she passed and that's kind of what, uh, I don't know if she passed to save the boys, like she traded her life for theirs, or if she passed to take away Ivar's pain. I mean, maybe it was both. She saved the brothers and she knew that she would also be saving the brothers and taking away Ivar's pain. I liked Siggy. Um, she wasn't my favorite character, but I did really like her. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna miss her. I really do. She brought like a, she brought a more grounding presence to Oslo lately uh, because she got all wrapped up in Harbard or whatever his name is, the Wanderer. So, but now that he's gone and Siggy is passed, maybe Oslo will go back to, you know, having that more grounding presence that she should have as queen 
Um, anyway, but yeah, she kind of, I feel like Ocelot kind of lost herself there for a minute when he came. You know, she felt kind of a little bit more free of some responsibilities and because she could pass it off onto Siggy. She also just felt seen, you know? I think she just hasn't felt seen by Ragnar for a very long time. I felt loved by Ragnar for a very long time. And here comes this mystery guy, you know? He's giving her all the attention. He's helping her child. So I can see how that, you know, how that would have happened. But um, yeah. And I'm gonna miss Siggy. And oh God, I wonder how Rolo is gonna going to react to the news because they were, you know, pretty tight, pretty tight for a long time. I know that they were together for a while. I don't know if they were still together when he left, though. They were kind of like always on and off kind of thing, but they definitely cared about each other. So I don't know how he's going to react. It's gonna be interesting. But anyway, uh, yeah. The thing with um, Ethelstan and Judith is interesting. I was not expecting them to, <laughs> to do that. To do that. I was not. <laughs> That's why I don't know if you noticed, but it took me a minute when that scene came on to recognize that it was Ethelstan and Judith. I was not expecting that. Because last episode, he was like... <laughs> You know, you didn't do anything wrong, and you know he gave her like a blessing, and and I and I thought they were gonna just not do anything. And she's like, I'm a Christian, and I'm married. I know they wanted to, or she, I knew she at least wanted to, but man, they just went from zero to sixty, boom, <laughs> quickly. So that was interesting. But yeah, I don't know uh, what's gonna happen with them. You know, her husband is back and she has a child with him and I don't it's not like today I'm pretty sure where you can just be like you know I want a divorce kind of thing I don't want to be with you anymore I think back then maybe it was a little more complicated than that plus her being a princess probably complicates it even more so don't know what's going to happen with that but I did not like at the end when Ethelstan said you know, told King Eckbert that he was going with Ragnar, which I think is the good choice. <laughs> he should get away from there. I feel like trouble is brewing there. And, but I didn't like how King Eckbert like got in his face and was like, that's the wrong decision. It kind of felt like a threat. And so I was not down with that. <laughs> I was not down with that. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm excited for the next episode. So that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you are not subscribed yet to my channel, please click that subscribe button. I would love to have you. You know, especially if you've been watching my videos and you ain't subscribed, what are you doing? Come on, click the button. Click the button. Click the button. <laughs> kidding kind of but seriously click the button okay you want to subscribe i know you do um anyway yeah it's free it helps me you will got you guys will never miss a video when i upload and uh just do it all right just do it nike just do it <laughs> just click the button um what else if you're watching on patreon thank you so much my friends I appreciate you and uh, if you're interested in watching these reactions with me in full, unedited, uncut, everything there, go check out my Patreon, my friends. You also get early access to videos and so much more Patreon only shows. Um, go check it out. All right. Links are below. Below. I think that's it, my friends. Thank you so much. I will see you on the next video. Yay. Bye, friends.